welcome back. My name is Sparks and this is Game of Four, the series of data pack modules designed to change and modify your gameplay experience. And today we have bees in Minecraft 1.14 for you. By installing the Ambrosia data pack from our website, you can put bees into vanilla Minecraft. Once the module is installed, you'll have access to beehives. You'll be able to cultivate your own bees, uh, get wax and honey for them for various uses and generally just make your place look pretty. Ambrosia is designed to be a very different way of starting your survival world um, in that it's designed to be an alternative for natural regeneration. So when you install this module, it's going to turn natural regeneration off in your world and the bees system is going to provide you with lots and lots of ways of getting cheap regeneration instead. Uh, if you want to play with this uh, with your natural regeneration still turned on, you can still use a game rule command to change that. Let's hop into survival to see how this works. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is find yourself a bee larvae. Now bee larvae are little white grubs which have a chance of dropping from oak leaves. Once you have your larvae you want to find yourself a nice field of flowers and place down a barrel. You want plenty of flowers around for the bees and then throw your larvae on top. Larvae only have uh, a couple of days before they die in your inventory so make sure to get a fresh one from your tree. Now the regular bees that spawn around beehives are passive, but if you look inside, watch out because opening the hive will cause bees, uh, angry bees to spawn. They don't deal much damage, but uh, it's worth bearing in mind. The more flowers there are around your beehive, the more bees the hive will eventually have, and the more bees you have, the faster it produces honey. If you look inside your beehive, eventually you'll see honeycomb beginning to spawn. Placing a bowl inside a beehive will cause it to eventually be filled with honey. This is an alternative method of getting honey without having to extract it from honeycomb. A honey bowl is a source of food which will give you regeneration too when you eat it. Once your bees have produced some honeycomb, you can use liquid tanks, which is another one of our modules, uh, which you can download from our website uh, to extract the honey from the honeycomb. If you want to know how to use and build these, there is a video linked in the uh, sidebar which will show you how to. So if you put some honeycomb into a, an empty liquid tank, it will turn it into beeswax and fill the tank with honey. Uh, it can store up to a hundred buckets of honey. There's a couple of things you can do with your liquid honey. First of all, if you place a, bot a glass bottle inside of your honey tank, it will turn into a brimful bottle of honey. Now when you drink this, it's going to give you nine sips of this drink, and each sip will give you one minute and twenty of regeneration. So if I drink this now, you'll see that this bottle has given me regeneration, and now has 8 out of 9 spoons of honey left inside. Honey bottles give you a lot of regeneration, but they will only give you 9 uh, instances of regeneration per inventory slot. So we've added the ability to create uh, honey glazed beetroots. If you place a beetroot in the first slot of a tank, you'll get a honey glazed beetroot which will restore half a heart um, of health and half a haunch of hunger but they can be stacked up to 64 in your inventory, so they're good for just topping yourself up throughout the day. Finally, standing underneath a honey tank will give you a burst of regeneration as you drink the liquid from inside. 6 minutes and 40 seconds. After you've extracted your honey from your honeycomb, you're left with beeswax. This is an item that we've added which allows you to reduce the repair cost of your tools. So for example, my sword, Swordy McSword Face, would currently cost 38 levels to repair. Even if it was too expensive to repair anymore, we could reduce this cost by putting the sword and a lot of beeswax on an anvil smooshing down with a piston and collecting the sword again. You'll be able to see that this now costs 34 levels to repair instead. And you can keep doing this to reduce the repair cost of your tools all the way back down to a couple of levels. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you as always to our patrons who helped keep the Game Mode 4 system running, and thank you to everyone behind the scenes who helped create this module and all of the resources that go with it. If you want to download Ambrosia, you can do so from the website linked in the description, and you can read all about the technical details of Ambrosia on the Game Mode 4 wiki. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.